Hey guys, welcome back for another Trick Tip Tuesday. And today's tip, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the difference between hole saws and sheet metal cutters. So, um, you know, we've posted videos and stuff on social media before using hole cutters uh, or sheet metal cutters uh, that we have here. Uh, and these are the Hogan line of sheet metal cutters and uh, Rotocut cutters. So, um, to explain some of the differences between them and hole saws and why you may need one over the other and that sort of thing. So. Uh, everybody's familiar with a standard hole saw. We sell and offer the Morse brand of uh, hole saws here. So these are all USA made hole saws. These are very nice uh, as far as hole saws are concerned. Um, there's a lot of different variations out there of hole saws if you're just going down to your hardware store, that sort of thing. Uh, and I've seen quality in hole saws range greatly. So um, these are um, pretty much the best I've seen as far as that's concerned. And uh, it makes it really nice when you are drilling with a hole saw to know that uh, your cutter is well made and it's going to drill a more precise hole, that sort of thing, uh, and last on top of that in order to do your job over and over and over. So hole saws in general, uh, pretty much made uh, for universal uh, applications. So um, whether you're drilling through wood, plastics, um, you know, any of that sort of thing, sheet metal. Um, or even, uh, you know, we use them for notching tube, that sort of thing. So there's a, there's a broad use range for hole saws, which means that you can achieve all those things, but does it mean that they're the best application for all those uses? Not necessarily. So what I mean by that is when you're cutting through sheet metal, especially if you're using a standard hole saw, chances are your hole is not as precise as you may want it. So if you've drilled through with a regular style hole saw into sheet metal, um, it's, it's, chances are your hole saw is gonna have walked just a little bit, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, because of the tooth pattern on a hole saw and all that, it tends to lean itself towards not as precise of cutting. So what I mean by that is the teeth on a hole saw, and if you looked at this up close, the teeth on the hole saw are staggered. So uh, essentially for every one tooth, the next one is leaned out, the next one is leaned in, the next one is leaned out, the next one is leaned in. So the teeth are staggered all the way around the hole saw. And this is necessary uh, for this style of cutter. Um, but it also tends to lean itself towards not as being not being not as precise in something like thin sheet metal and that sort of thing because uh, if you're going for, if you need an exact inch and a half hole size, uh, you may end up with just, a, you know, if you measured it with a caliper, that sort of thing, you may end up with just a little bit over an inch and a half after using a standard hole saw because of the way it's designed, because of the way it works. If you need precise uh, hole cutting in sheet metal, uh, we have a couple of different options. So these are the Hogan sheet metal cutters, and these are specifically designed for sheet metal up to one eighth inch thick so um, these have a pretty big tooth on them but it's extremely precise all the teeth are in line so they're not staggered they don't lean in or out they're all in line and then the cutting edge is right on the outside corner of the tooth which means that that's that's where it's starting the cut and that's where it's going to keep in line uh, as it's doing the cutting so if this like this cutter here is two and a half inches so when you drill this uh, two and a half inch cutter through sheet metal it's going to be a two and a half inch hole when you're done, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, and then it has this little lip right here on the outside, uh, which means that as you go through, once you get through the sheet metal, uh, that little lip is going to catch it, which is going to keep you from, you know, on a traditional hole saw, when you get through the material, if you don't have anything behind there or another plate or anything like that, it'll just go right through, uh, which, you know, for this application, uh, for a sheet metal cutter, uh, we have a kit that's for, elect like, you know, we call it the electricians and fabricators kit. Uh, so if you're drilling into an electrical box and that sort of thing, and you got stuff inside of the electrical box, so you just need to drill right through that surface and that's it. And that's what these are great for, because it's going to stop you from going all the way through and potentially tearing up whatever's on the back side. So you're working in a car on a dash, uh, you're not going to punch through and potentially harm other things that might be in there if you're just trying to get that hole in there. So. Uh, these are great for sheet metal uh, use and the arbor that they use is a sh is a pretty short arbor So you can see the overall height of the arbor with the hole saw on it. It's pretty short uh, so you can get into those tight areas, so 
So the next thing in line uh, beyond the sheet metal cutters here uh, would be the rotocut cutters, which uh, if you're familiar uh, in the automotive realm of drilling out spot welds and things, you've probably seen a uh, one of these hole cutter kits that's labeled a spot weld cutter kit. And that's pretty much what these are, is these rotocut style cutters uh, for being able to do small holes or drill through, uh, you know, for spot welds and that sort of thing. And this size being three quarter and under would be a okay to use in a um, in a hand drill when you're drilling but any of the sizes above three quarters so once you get into the next size up seven eighths to inch and a half uh, not recommended to use these on a hand drill because uh, the way they use their uh, centering mechanism is with a pin so there's just a sharp point on there so you center punch your hole and then line that up and then that's what keeps your cutter uh, centered on where you need to cut. So if you're doing that by hand, there's a tendency, especially on the bigger cutters, it'll want to walk and move off your center point. Uh, so put these bigger ones in a drill press and they'll be able to stay uh, where you need them. But these offer a very accurate, precise hole up to a half inch deep cut. So you're gonna get the deeper cut with these as compared to the eighth inch depth of cut on the sheet metal cutters uh, here. So a uh, little bit different style cutter, still very precise on sheet metal, good application for that. Um, and these, in this size, or in this style of cutter, these rotocut cutters, only come in a maximum size of inch and a half, uh, which means that obviously, if you need something bigger than that, that style cutter won't work anyway. But that's why we have these uh, sheet metal cutters. Uh, this one here is up to two and a half, so you can do a little bit bigger hole in that well in that way. So. Um, yeah, hopefully this gives you some explanation on the differences between why you'd uh, maybe use a standard hole saw as opposed to a sheet metal cutter or one of these rotocut style cutters. Um, you know, a standard hole saw, great for universal type applications, tube notching, where you need to get, uh, you know, deep through a tube and that sort of thing, uh, or even drilling through some d different materials other than metals. So all of these uh, will be able to do steel, aluminum, uh, you know, soft metals like that. If you are going to a, uh, a harder metal, like a stainless or something like that, uh, we do offer a sheet metal uh, cutter for uh, that has carbide tips on it uh, to be able to cut through the harder metals uh, there. So hopefully uh, this explanation gives you some ideas on why you might want a standard hole saw, or maybe, maybe you do need to step up to uh, the sheet metal cutters and or the rotocut cutters. So um, definitely a little more expensive on this end as far as the sheet metal cutters and stuff go. But when it comes to being precise and getting uh, the hole exactly as you need it, that's what these style cutters would be really good for. If you're kind of just doing, uh, you know, general things and you don't need that really, really precise hole uh, in sheet metal, maybe you're gonna be doing tube notching uh, or, you know, possibly through some other materials, uh, the standard hole saws are the way to go. So. Uh, check out all these products on our website, tricktools.com. If you have any more questions, give us a call, and uh, we'll help you get those figured out. So thanks for watching this week's Trick Tip, and we'll see you in the next one.